The last herpes virus we're going to talk about is HHV8. It's a gamma herpes virus like EBV, and using similar mechanisms to EBV, it can cause cancer. Now, it's known for one cancer in particular, which is that in patients with AIDS, it causes something called Kaposi sarcoma, which is a neoplasm of endothelial cells, and it has a very distinctive appearance with violet-colored plaques that can appear on multiple sites of the body, like this, and can also appear within multiple organs. For the most part, it's disfiguring rather than life-threatening, and usually it resolves as the AIDS is treated with antiretrovirals. But the exception, which is pretty rare, is visceral Kaposi sarcoma, which is life-threatening and does require chemotherapy in addition to the antiretroviral therapy. Kaposi sarcoma was actually known before the HIV epidemic, but it was much, much less common. And patients who would get it were usually older males living in places with higher rates of HHV infection, including Africa and the Mediterranean. We still have a lot to learn about HHV-8, including how it's transmitted and how to prevent infection. But the important thing is to be able to recognize Kaposi sarcoma if you see it and know that it can be a sign of HIV infection.